Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. I already have chapstick on. I have extra lines on my face because I just came in from the grocery store and so I have lines from the mask. No makeup on, just skincare. I wanted to talk really quick about the Peter Thomas Roth. And I have a second one here, that's what I'm reading from. Peter Thomas Roth, Clinical Skin Care 24K Gold, Pure Luxury Cleansing Butter. Pure 24K Gold helps skin look lifted imparts an opulent glow solid to oil texture melts away makeup dirt impurities chamomile butter and honey deliver intense hydration castori turmeric helps soothe so that's what this says right here and on the back where the directions are melt a small amount of cleanser by massaging between palms and gently apply to dry skin Use once or twice daily for external use only and has one fluid ounce in here. This is not on the Sephora website because I looked it up before I left to go to the store because I wanted to have some information to give to you and I'm out of breath from walking up three flights of stairs and I don't know why I'm talking so fast. <laughs> and yes, my hairline is naturally crooked. So this is a travel size and on the Peter Thomas Roth website, it has $15 and then it's crossed out and has $6. It was six, so it's 60% off, which is why I purchased two. And I said, if I do like it, I'll definitely use it up. And if I don't like it, I can give one to someone else to try. When I was going swimming, let me back up. I looked up the ingredients and the order of the ingredients because it talks about chamomile butter, honey, and turmeric. Chamomile butter is the seventh ingredient, the turmeric is the eighth ingredient, and honey is the ninth ingredient, and then there's a whole bunch of other oils and extracts and other things in between before and after those three ingredients. When I was going swimming, I tried this when I would wash my face after swimming, and it, it felt okay. It, it felt okay. And it did not dry out my skin, it did not break out my skin. Those are always two pluses has a very faint scent, which is also a plus because I'm a non-fragrance person because it irritates my skin. And so I'm gonna show you the texture. Maybe I'll take less than that because I don't wanna waste it. And it is like a cream and it does melt in. The reason, and it does feel very soothing and very smooth. Using this just to wash my face was fine, but it says, you know, remove, removes impurities and makeup. And so I finally tried this the other day when I was doing videos. And I had on foundation, concealer, setting powder, a cream blush. And I had on the MAC Black Track Fluid line, which supposedly is waterproof. And so I'm like, hmm, let's see if this does remove makeup. I used a lot. It says only use a little bit, but I took like globs <laughs> and placed it on my face, on my dry skin as it says to do, and then I rubbed it in very slightly. Not slightly, lightly. And so I couldn't see much as far as it removing the foundation because my foundation is my skin color. So, you know, it's not going to look any darker or like it's sliding around or anything. And I very gently went over the liner and I did have a slight wing. I do not like cleansing balms because it seeps into my eyes. I hate that feeling. Cleansing oils, the same thing. I hate that feeling. And so I very gently was rubbing along my lash line. And then I said, you know what? I need to really see if this is gonna work. So I closed my eyes, trying not to go like this. I closed my eyes and I wiped along where the liner was. And I kept wiping and wiping and wiping. And I did not want to open my eyes because I didn't want it to seep into my eyes. And so I rinsed my entire face. Now keep in mind, I had already rubbed it in all over. So this was the last thing was just my eyeliner. And I rinsed my face and it took a little bit to rinse off because of the texture of this. And so if you just splash water on your face, you'll still feel the slime because <laughs> that's how it felt. <laughs> it felt slimy and maybe because I used so much of it. And so I took my time and rinsed, 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 and, you know, rinsed along my lash line. I still didn't open my eyes because I'm like, I don't want anything to seep into my eyes. And so I reached over and got a hand towel. <laughs> and I pressed on my, on my lids 
and pressed underneath and opened my eyes and I looked. There was very faint, like just very, very, very faint from pressing, and it was mostly just the outer corners. There were two very faint black dots from <laughs> the eyeliner. So I'm like, huh, okay. And so I gently wiped along my lash line and there was a faint line of the eyeliner. And so if you're not wearing eyeliner, this is good for removing your makeup and also your eyeshadow. If you're removing eyeliner, it may not remove at all. This I would consider a first cleanse. Anytime I wear makeup, I do wash my face twice. Even if I use a makeup remover wipe, I still wash my face after that. Number one, because I don't like how it makes my skin feel. Even though it says, you know, don't need to wash afterwards or rinse, but I do because my skin is just like, clean me, clean me, clean me. And so, <laughs> I know that sounded weird. You guys know me, I'm weird. And so I do like this for removing makeup. However, I'm, I still have the same issue with if I'm wearing eyeliner, and especially if I'm using eyeliner on my inner rims, I always have to use a makeup remover wipe. I use Neutrogena make re makeup remover wipes. I've been using them for like 15, 20 years. I always have to use one to get the liner off of my inner rim. I will wrap the towel, the makeup remover wipe around my finger and lightly just go like this and lightly run it along my inner rim, rim up top. And I'll you know, keep moving the cloth and doing it again until there's no color there. And then, you know, if there's any residue up here, I do this and then I keep, you know, moving the wipe and wiping it until there's nothing else showing on the wipe. And so all of these things, just use micellar water, use cleansing balms, cleansing oils. I've tried all of those, but they do not remove liner from my inner rims. Someone please tell me how to use those products to get liner off of your inner rims and even waterproof eyeliner off of your lash line without it getting into my eyes. I hate that feeling. No one's been able to tell me yet. So all of this, stop using makeup remover wipes. You can use them, just be gentle. And then still wash your face afterwards. And so anyway, I didn't mean to go on that tangent. <laughs> So the Peter Thomas Roth 24K Gold Pure Luxury Cleansing Butter. If you just want to feel like you're doing something luxurious for your skin to remove your makeup, excluding eyeliner, and especially if it's on your inner rims, I do recommend this, especially 60% off. This is $6, and it is a travel size. On the website, it does say to use the sponge to remove it, but the travel size, you don't get a sponge, and they don't have a full size on their website. So I'm thinking this was a trial thing let's just create this product put it out there in travel size see if people buy it see if they like it see what the reviews say and if there's enough interest then they'll create the full size that's what i'm thinking because when i purchased this it was back in um september and this is now the end of january 2021 i purchased this in september 2020 and it has a year lifespan once you open it, which is great. So, if you just want to pamper yourself, remove your makeup, go ahead and get it. It's six bucks on his website right now. Otherwise, it'll be 15 once the sale is over. Or if you just want to get it as a gift for someone else, for them to pamper themselves, you know, go ahead and do that too. I don't know if I would purchase the full size only because I'm still going to have to use the wipes for my eyeliner or my lash line and on my inner rims. And I have other face washes that I use, so I would not necessarily need this. It feels good, yes, feels slimy when you're rinsing it off, but like I said, I used a lot. So I'm kind of on the fence about it. So I would say for six bucks, if you're shopping on his site anyway, go ahead and buy one, try it, see if you like it. Um, and then if not, then no. And so, <laughs> I know that probably wasn't really helpful. <laughs> My skin did feel clean afterwards. It smelt, felt, smelt. 
It did feel smooth. It felt smooth afterwards. My skin was not irritated. It was not red. It was not dry. It was not itchy. And of course, I still, like I said, I cleansed it again afterwards and then put on my eye serum, eye cream, facial serums, moisturizers, and all of that. So my skin does like this. And I do have sensitive and temperamental skin. So if you're in my family, temperamental sensitive skin, this is something you should not have an issue using. However, if you're using this to remove your makeup, once you remove your makeup and rinse this off, still wash your face again. Okay? That's all I'm saying. And some people don't, and then I think that's why they're having issues. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. If you have tried this product, let me know your thoughts. And you will see me in the next video. Thanks. Bye.